think we're live. If you are watching this right now, or if, or in, let's say, in the near future, good afternoon. <laughs> it is Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's the month of May. I think it might be the 27th. Hmm. May 27th, Wednesday afternoon, just before 4 o'clock. So, if you are watching this after it's been recorded, welcome. Feel free to skip ahead to when we do the bow in if you'd like. Otherwise, you're welcome to watch the first couple minutes while we wait for people watching live to come on. As always, if you're here a little early and you're going to watch before the warm up, go ahead and start moving your body around. Get yourself nice and loose before you start. I like to do things like jumping jacks, arm swings, body twists, knee lifts, leg swings push-ups, anything like that that you do to get your body nice and loose and warm so that when you're going to start exercising and practicing, you are ready to go. I'm looking out my window now and I see it's a bright, sunny day. I would have done this class outside today, but it's a little warm out actually, so I might do it uh, outside another day when it's a little cooler. Stephanie hey, Stephanie, welcome back. You are always here on these afternoon classes. I'm glad you're here. Since I know you're watching, we'll review our two pinion a little bit more. I'm trying to remember if I've taught you the whole thing. I think you've got it all, right? I'll do the whole thing today. So if there's some more that you haven't learned yet, you go ahead and watch and you can add it on. Uh, and if you have seen it, well, then you'll get some review. <clears throat> For anybody else who's watching, if you don't know the form called two pinion, you are welcome to follow along and try to pick it up. It's a little more complicated than pinyon number one. So for my students who know it, or maybe dragon form, that's the easier version, right? A little bit simpler moves. All right. I think I'm about ready to get started. So you go ahead and join me with the bow in, and then we'll begin class. Can you show me front position? Knowledge in the mind. Honesty in the heart. Strength in the body. Nice, respectful bow. Okay, so a couple things. I said we'll review two pinyon today, and maybe we'll make that a focus for today's class. Stephanie, since I know you're watching, and I know this is actually something that I want everyone to eventually learn, so we can use this class and refer back to it later to practice two pinyon together. So if you need to watch a video someday and you want to review two pinyon and I'm not around, you can find this video. I'll refer you to it. So warming up first. Let's start out with some kicks, right? So when you're doing a warm up, this is something I want you to keep in mind, okay? Before you've really started exercising really hard, you should always keep the first moves you do pretty light. So we haven't really warmed up yet. So our first kicks shouldn't be our hardest, most difficult kicks, right? We should just start easy, light moves. So let's say we're doing 10 front kicks. I'm not kicking my hardest, I'm just going to move my leg like I'm doing front kicks 10 times. Nice and easy. You can try to gently swing your leg up to however high you can get it to go. It shouldn't hurt. It should just feel nice and light. And then that's 10 for me. Switch legs once you've done 10. Now, I don't know if you can tell, Stephanie, if you're watching, I'm doing front ball kicks. Remember that? So I'm pulling, I'm pointing my foot but then just pulling my toes back. So I'm kicking with the ball of my foot. And I don't know if you can see, see how I'm kind of lean back a little bit when I do that? So I'm actually, what I'm doing is not, it's not really that I'm leaning back, I'm actually pushing my hips forward. So when I kick, I kind of push my hips into the kick like that. I think that's 10. Okay, then we'll do 10 side kicks on each leg. Again, just the light movement. So I'm just lifting my knee and pushing out, just like that, nice and easy. The hardest kicks we'll do later, if we were going to do that, when the body is nice and loose and warm. Now, you know what? I think all of you who are watching are a lot younger than me. One of the things that happens as your body gets older is it takes more time to warm up. That's why I teach grown-ups. We do a lot more warming up. All right, that was 10, I think, on that side. 
And then we'll do 10 on the other side. Now remember, the form for the side kick, even though we're doing it slow, lift your knee up nice and high in the front. Remember to turn the bottom foot a little bit and then push for us where right now we'll do our heel, push your heel out towards whatever you're kicking. And also, even though it's not part of the warm up, it's good practice to look where your kick is going, okay? See, I'm going nice and slow, just taking my time, just trying to get that leg to work. By the way, it would be okay if you hang on to something while you're doing your warm up, if you think you need it. <clears throat> okay. Let's do one more for kicking. Let's do reverse crescent kick. Remember, reverse crescent kick is the one where you swing your leg up this way and circle it around to the outside like that. Okay, and when you come up, lift your knee up, and then as you're circling, you straighten your leg out. So it's like a circle kick. It's sort of like a knee circle with a front kick in the middle of it. Ready? Hey, Eli and Avi, glad you guys are here. You know, I was saying at the very beginning of class today that I was going to practice two pinion. Now that I know, since you two guys have now been promoted to orange belts, <laughs> we can do uh, two pinion. You can start to learn that one. Didn't I teach you the beginning of two pinion? Hmm. I suddenly can't remember if I showed you the beginning of Tupinion or not. I think I did. We'll go over it again today, okay? So if you've never seen any of it, that's another thing that happens when you get older. You forget. Did I show them that already? <laughs> you know what? If you want to, maybe ask mom if she'll write in the comments and say, say yes, sensei, we did. We did learn the beginning of Tupinion. We're doing reverse crescent kicks, by the way, to warm up. And I'll be happy to show you some of it today. Uh, uh, okay. Whew. Okay. So, you know what? Let's make two pinion our focus today. All right? Since I know the friends who are on live are all high enough belts to be working on two pinion. So, two pinion, Avi and Eli, moves in all the same directions as one pinion. Right? So we could do it together. Here's one pinion, just for review. Bow, horse stance, right? Step block, step punch. Stephanie, you're doing one pinion with us too. Step block, step punch. We turn down the middle, block, and then one, two, three. Now, I might be going a little faster than you or a little slower than you, that's okay. You go at your own pace, spin around and block. Step punch, step block. Step punch. Can you see me? <laughs> I've got my back to you now. Block. Doing my three punches back down the middle again. At the end of three punches, my backwards turn and block. And then punch. Then turn around, low block, and punch. And then I'm at the end. Okay. Whew. Okay. So you finish one pinion if you're still doing it. That's okay. So when we do two pinion, Stephanie, you already know this. Avi and Eli, and anybody else who's watching, it's all the, the feet do all the same things in two pinion as they do in one pinion. So let's, let's do a pretend form, okay? This is, this is actually a great way to practice. Take your arms and just give yourself a hug, <laughs> right? Your ar you have no more arms. You've got no arms. Oh, no. Now, here's what I want you to do. Do the moves of one pinion, okay, without using your arms at all. What, Sensei Dave, what? Okay, so watch. You can do it with me. See if you can figure it out. Remember, if you mix it up, if you get messed up, what should you do? Right, you should get really mad, jump up and down, scream and yell, and throw things around the house. <laughs> no. If you mess up, you, you take a deep breath, and you try again, okay? So... If I do this with no arms, it might feel confusing, but I bet you can do it. Bow, horse stance, right? Step, and I can even say the move, that helps me. Step, block, I'm doing imaginary block. Step, punch. See how I didn't actually move my arms, I just said punch. Step, block. Step, punch. 
step block. I'm going to say it nice and quiet so I don't mess you up. Step punch, step punch, step punch. Hmm, end of three punches. Backwards turn, step block, step punch, step block, hmm, step punch, step block. And then we go one, two, three. Still not using my arms. At the end of three punches, do the big backwards turn with no arms. Whoa. <laughs> step punch. Turn around. Step block. Step punch. And then I'm at the end. Horse stance. Front position and bow. Whoo. Okay, I'm letting go. I'm getting my arms back now. <laughs> I'll wait for you to finish. Wow. How was that? So that's actually a fun way or another way you can practice your forms, one pinion, two pinion, even some of the other ones. Just do the feet as a whole separate thing. I won't do it with you today, but another time we could try just the hands, right? Or I'll let you think about maybe doing that after we're done today, right? Just try the hands, you know, bow, block, punch, block, right, that, but I won't do it today. <laughs> let me show you how to do two pinion. So remember, we said the feet are the same. So the very beginning is the same. We start at front position. You bow. And horse stance, just like one pinion. You do the little breathing exercise. And we even do the first move exactly the same, step block. Okay, that's so far as the same. Now here's where it gets different. The next move is a step punch, but we do a different kind of punch. Okay, so let me get close. Everybody see me? Stephanie, I know you already know this. When we do one pinion... We do this kind of punch right here. Remember what we call that kind of punch? Front, we call that front punch. And we are aiming at a certain part of our imaginary bad guy, right? So in one pinion, we do a front punch and we aim right here in the middle of this, kind of above the stomach to a place we call, here's a big name, the solar plexus. Have I told you that name before? Can you say it? Solar plexus. It's a spot on your body. Here, so make sure you can test it out, okay? If you feel right here in the middle of your body, there's kind of a hard bone right there, right? Right there in the middle. That's called your breastbone. So all your ribs are attached to it, right? Well, if you poke at your breastbone and start poking down, 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 and eventually ooh, you kind of hit a soft spot right where there's no more bone. There's a squishy spot right there. And if you feel it, you'll feel a little bit here. Those are your ribs down there. That, that, that hollow spot right in the middle, right at the end of your breastbone, that's called the solar plexus. Ooh. So when we do one pinion, front punch to the solar plexus. Every single punch in one pinion is a front punch to an imaginary solar plexus. Say it again. Solar, like the sun. And then the word is plexus, P-L-E-X-U-S. Woo, you learned a new word today. Okay, that's one pinion, but we're working on two pinion. When you do one pinion, you do block, front punch, right? When you do two pinion, we're going to go block, and then we're going to punch like this, hand turned sideways. We call that a thrust punch, okay? So you're doing a thrust punch. And this time, the target is, no giggling, the groin. Right, the groin. You know, that part of the body, the groin. So I know I always use the word groin because that's a way for us to talk about a part of the body that's a little embarrassing, right? We have a special word for it. <clears throat> so when you're aiming at a person's body, we use words that aren't like silly names for things, right? That's important. Sometimes you might have silly names for, for things, and it's okay to use silly names for things. But for this, we're going to use a name that's not so silly. Now, why would I punch somebody there? Well, if I was ever really trying to protect myself from danger, well, I might throw a punch to somebody or a kick. But we would only use this if we were in real danger. For us in Tupinion, it's just a way to practice aiming at a low punch. Okay, so here we go. Two pinion. Bow. Horse stance. Step block. So now we do step, and then we do a thrust punch right to the side. 
or we hand turn on its side, and then we sink low, and we punch low. We punch them in the groin. Then you turn around, step block, and it's the same thing. Step, sink low, and do a thrust punch to the groin. Whew. Whoa. Stephanie, you know that already, right? So bow, horse stance, step block, step, thrust punch to the groin. Turn around, step block, step, sink, thrust punch to the groin, and a thrust punch to the groin. Then turn down the middle, low block, just like one pinion. Whew. Okay, Eli and Avi, do you know that much? You think you can remember that? We just change the punches at the beginning of one pinion, just like one pinion. But when we do two pinion, it's a low punch. All right, are you ready for one more new thing? So now, after you do the block and you're going to go down the middle, it's a little different again. So there's something new I want to show you. When you do the step and punch, instead of punching in one pinion, right, solar plexus, we go face with a front punch. But then we add something right after. I'm going to bend my arm, sink down. Okay, now I'm gonna get close so you can see this. So here's my punch. Okay, watch what my arm does. It comes in like this, and then it kind of flips over, and now my arm is turned sideways. Here, let me turn you like this, okay? I hold my arm like this, and then with the side of my fist, I'm gonna swing out like that, a quick little pop. Anytime you hit with the side of your hand like that, Right, the side of your hand, doesn't matter what direction you're going. See how I'm squeezing? That's called a hammer. You say hammer? So hammer. So I can hammer down, I can hammer in. What other directions could I hammer? Out. Could I hammer up? I suppose, it's a little awkward. I can also hammer like this, kind of with my arm flipped out, just kind of, I'm just swinging my arm out at something. See that? I go right at you, ready? <laughs> See it again? So the side of my fist is coming right at you. All right, so I'm gonna back up. Here's the move I want you to learn. So let's go back to one pinion, or two pinion, right where we did the punch, the low punch to the groin. Turn down the middle and block. Step, front punch to the face. Now bend your arm, sink down, flip your arm over like this, see? And then it's kind of like it's broken. Just kind of smacks out. Face with the front punch, sink down, groin with the low, we call this a reverse hammer. You say that? Reverse hammer. Boom. Then we do it two more times. Step, front punch to the face, curl it in, reverse hammer to the groin. One more time. Step, front punch to the face, sink down, reverse hammer to the groin. See how I did it as a quick little flick too. It's not like a powerful strike. It's flick. Whew. Boy, that's a lot. <laughs> you remember that? Let's review it one more time. Now remember, you can watch this video again to practice it. Bow, horse stance, step block, step, low punch, turn, step block, step, low punch, turn, Block down the middle. Now here's where we change it. Step, front punch high, curl in, reverse hammer low. Step, other hand, front punch high, curl, reverse hammer low. One more time. Step, front punch high, curl, reverse hammer low. Whew. Ooh, that seems like a lot. <laughs> Stephanie, you know the rest, right? All right, Eli and Avi, here's what I want you to do. Anybody else watching, if this is new, just do that much, okay? Try it on your own. If, you're, if you already know it, Stephanie, you can follow me. Pretend you just finished that last one. Reverse hammer. Now you're going to spin backwards and do low block. Step forward, uppercut. Turn around, low block. Eli and Avi, if you want to watch, you can see what's coming. <laughs> Step uppercut turn down the middle low block all right stephanie here we go 
Remember these moves? We do a step, right hand upward block, left hand upward block, right hand low punch, left hand high punch. Step forward. Now the hand that's already out there, upward block. Upward block with the other arm, low punch, high punch, and then we do that one more time, right? Step, right arm, up, left arm, up, right arm, low, left arm, high. Backwards turn, remember the end? Step forward, so Stephanie, this is for you. Outward block, and then with the same arm, front punch. Turn around, low block, half moon forward, left arm, Outward block, same arm does, front punch. Step back and breathe and bow. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. All right, take a break, everybody. We're going to finish up here. So for anybody watching Tupinion for the first time, you can go back in the video and watch what I was doing so you can practice following, okay? Eli, Avi, I know that first half is new for you, so you take your time and practice it, All right? And by the way, for any of you out there, we can always go online for a little one-on-one -on -one class and practice it together, All right? You just have your mom or dad send me a message, and we can make a little lesson. I'll get online with you guys for 15 minutes, and we'll do face-to-face. -face. Now, this brings me to something. You, I hope, someday would like to earn your next belt. Eli and Avi, you already know, right? <laughs> well, think of your belt as a goal. You know what a goal is, right? It's something that you want to earn or you want to happen. If you're playing soccer, a goal is what everybody's trying to do, kick the ball into the net. But in your life, a goal is anything that you want to do. You want to be able to do a bunch of push-ups, say 50. You practice until you can. And when you can do 50 push-ups, you reach your goal. But what do you have to do to reach a goal? Can you just say, I want to be able to do 50 push-ups. And then poof. Are you magically able to do it just because you said so? That's right. That's not the way it works. You have to practice. You have to practice until you can. So everybody repeat after me. I will until... I don't know if I could hear you. Don't yell too loud because I know you're in your house, right? I will until. I will do whatever it is that I have to practice until I can do my goal, whatever that goal is. We'll talk more about this in another class. But I want you to set a goal of practicing your two-pinion and getting better at it so I can teach you more. All right, everybody, let's back up a little bit. It is uh, Wednesday, so that means I'm going to go to story time. Got some more tales of Bunjitsu Bunny coming up at 445. I have four Bunjitsu Bunny books, so there's lots of stories for me to read there. Um, I hope I'll see you there. Otherwise, you have a great rest of your day. I hope you get outside and enjoy the sunshine. It's really warm and beautiful out. I know I'm going to do some of that later tonight. Can you show me front position? Knowledge of the mind. Honesty in the heart. Strength in the body. Nice bow, everybody. Thanks for a great class. Work on your material, and I'll see you next week. Bye.